Yo, get out your pencils and pens, cause I'm about to go in on all the sneakers that'll be dropping this weekend. Bars! Hashtag bars! Jacques Slade here for the heat check, so let's get this show on the road. Today is packed with sneakers, and the most expensive sneaker dropping this weekend is this pair, the Nike Hyper Adapt 1.0. Three colors are dropping out in New York City with the most widely seen pair rocking that black upper. Those will cost you $720, but they are super limited. On the less limited side of things, we have Adidas coming through with the triple white and triple black versions of the Ultra Boost 3.0. These have been getting plenty of love on the web, and it's finally getting easier to grab a pair. You can look for those over at Finish Line for $180. $80. Jordan is also jumping into the mix today with a couple of versions of the Air Jordan 1. All three pairs have patent leather included on the upper, no doubt a tribute to the Air Jordan 11. These colors, Deep Royal, Grove Green, and Black are all pretty clean and show the shoe in a different light, I think. Again, those are available today and you can pick up a pair for $150. Nike Sportswear is making a strong push this weekend and it starts with a Hirachi this weekend. This pair is being called Pine Green for obvious reasons, but that is not to take away from that gold leaf there. Finish Line will have those for $120. Keeping with Sportswear, Finish Line is going to have the full Nike Beautiful and Powerful collection inspired by Joan Samuelson. The multicolored uppers look really dope and they cover the Air Max Thea, the Cortez, the Hirachi, and the Presto. All four pairs feature a jackered upper and include some great detailing. These are actually available right now and range from prices of $120 to $150. Moving ahead to Friday, there seems to only be one big release on that day, and it is the Nike Trainer for Victor Cruz in black. This pair actually reminds me of the Air Jordan 3 in black and white, and those are gonna cost you $140. Okay, Saturday is going to bring us a bit of the old and the new, so let's start with the new. Adidas Hoops first announced it a few weeks ago, but the shoe is finally coming to retail, the pioneer colorway of the Adidas Harden Volume 1. The red, black, white colorway definitely sets itself apart, and you can grab those at finish line for 140. Keeping with Adidas, the NMD R2 is dropping in the Trace Cargo colorway. The upper on these is definitely different from what we have seen in the past, and those will cost you $170. Taking a step back a bit, Adidas is showing the ladies mad love on the NMD with three colorways dropping on December 3rd. The colors are pretty basic, but as you guys know, that is when the NMD really gets to shine in my opinion. These come in core black, white, and utility gray, which almost looks green. Those will cost you 130. Now, as you have no doubt heard by now, this year marks the 20th anniversary of Space Jam and Jordan Brand is showing mad love. The Jordan 1 Ultra, the pair that has that extended sock liner, it gets some Space Jam love and those will cost you 150. Of course, Jordan Brand had to also hook up their latest signature, the Air Jordan 31, in a special Space Jam makeup. Not sure if you guys noticed this, but they removed the Jumpman on the upper to make room for that patent leather on the 31. Those will cost you 185. And finally, the Air Jordan 9 Retro OG. This is the same colorway that Mike wore in the Space Jam practice session, and you can grab those over at finish line for $190 on Saturday as well. There are a ton of kicks dropping this weekend. Be sure to check below for links to all of the shoes that I talked about in the video today. And be sure to hit that like button. And make sure you share the news as well. I'm your host, Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line. And as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace.